Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to boot your HP Pro Desk with your Windows 11 files. So I'm going to power on the computer, then I'll click Escape so that we go to the uh, Setup menu. So when you reach here, you're going to go to the Boot menu, but first of all, we're going to go to F10 so that we go and check our boot sequence. So right now, I'm going to bring my PC, my camera closer a bit, that you can see very well. So when you reach here, I want you to go ahead to advanced, then boot options. So I want you to select, you have to enable this. And also we're going to go back. We have secure boot configurations. Uh, you have to make sure you put it in legacy support and then we are good to go so i'm going to click ctrl alt delete to restart or you can click escape then you say save changes then when the computer reboots you're going to click f9 f9 so that you go to the boot menu f9 uh, this is going to take us to our boot menu so when you reach our boot menu, you're going to click on our sun disk. It's the one that has our Windows files. So right now, the computer is going to load the files. So let me focus a bit. It's going to load the files. Uh, it's going to load the files. In our case here, on other computers, it will be showing the Windows 11 logo. But our HP, it will show this HP logo. Then to, we shall go ahead. So I'm going to pause the video so that we. So when you reach here, uh, this is what we're going to do next. We're going to go and click next here. As you can see, we're installing Windows 11. Then you click install. So I'm going to delete everything and do new partitions. I'm going to add the Windows partition. So I'm going to click, I don't have the product key. Then I'll go ahead and click Pro, Windows 11 Pro. Then I'll go ahead and click Next and Agree. Then after we're going to go and click Customize. Customize here. Come a bit closer. So when you click Customize, I'm going to delete everything here. In your case, you have to choose the primary storage. I'm going to delete also this one because I need to make sure everything is new. On other pieces, so you have to make sure you don't delete the files before you, you have to back up. So I'm going to give the Windows side 200 GB and then say apply. So this is going to ask you, so I'm going to click OK. Then it's going to create the partitions. Yes, I have my 200 GB for the partition for the Windows files. Then this one, I'll create a new partition so that it will have the other side for the C drive, D drive. So right now here, I'm good to go. I'm going to click Next. So you have to make sure you have everything set up like this. So I'm going to click Next. Then I will install my files. I'm going to pause the video here. So the computer is going to restart. So when the computer restarts, it's going to open. Then we shall stop from where we... Uh, you can follow my other videos on how to complete the installation. But I'm going to wait a bit. So after the computer will restart, so you wait for it for a moment, then to start. Now the windows will start. Then first of all here, what you're going to do, you're going to select the country. In my case, I have Uganda. I'm going to do this very quick. Then you select the keyboard layout. I'll click yes. Then I'll click skip this. So I don't have internet connection, I'll skip that, then I'll say continue, setup. Then you enter the username. We are done with the installing. 